It's Friday, the 11th of October 2019. Welcome to your local news for today. In the news, Regional Ozone Layer Conference closed. Implementation Body Basic Healthcare Insurance commemorated 5th anniversary. Youth Voice Trophies on Field and Seminar on Sexual Harassment in Sports Health. Alternative gases will have to be used for the air conditioning. That was the conclusion last Wednesday during the closing of the conference on the protection of the ozone layer. At this conference, representatives from various Caribbean countries have participated. Suriname was the host country. The conference was held from October 6 to October 9. Developing countries will have the opportunity until 2030 to complete the removal process of toxic substances. Cedric Nalom, director of the National Environmental Watchdog, NIMOS, commented that the collaboration with the various refrigeration companies in Suriname have been picked up for some time. Now, it has to be intensified. In the period between now and the next conference, work has to be done on the conclusion at the conference. But at the same time, other issues that are harmful for the ozone layer are also looked at. These will then be used as point of attention at the next conference. The various representatives now have the opportunity to submit the conclusions to their countries. It is therefore necessary to work on the modifications. The Basic Healthcare Insurance Implementing Body commemorated its five-year anniversary last Wednesday with an open day. This body supervises compliance with the Basic Healthcare Insurance Act approved in Parliament in 2014. The National Basic Healthcare Insurance Act is part of the social security system that the Voters of One administration has managed to achieve. Despite the challenges, Rachel Percy of the implementing body looks back positively at the work carried out to give substance to the law. During this open day, the public was kept busy with exercises and they received information from the various service providers that are involved with the basic health insurance. Since 2014, this law has ensured that every resident is obliged to insure himself. The basic health care insurance has attempted to improve access to health care and to assure that the very high cost of care services are covered with health insurance. For citizens who cannot pay, the government guarantees to provide the so-called Baso cards free of charge. According to politicians, cuts should be made and the National Basic Health Insurance Act should be adjusted. President Desiree Bouterse also indicated earlier in the National Assembly that more experts have been put to work to revise the Basic Health Care Insurance Act to provide guarantees within the healthcare sector. The implementing body will intensify work in the coming period. This is to ensure that every citizen is insured and that the insured receive the quality care that they deserve. Last Wednesday, the unfeeling and presentation took place of the Youth Voice Trophies. These trophies are manufactured and donated by the Pansa Group of Companies. The final of Youth Voice 2019 will take place next Saturday in the Anthony Nesti Sports Hall. The Pansa Group of Companies has made the trophy for the winner. Managing Director Mourinho Panza of the Panza Group was very enthusiastic to be part of this event. 
The director of the STVS, Stephen Rodriguez, is very pleased with the collaboration with the Pansa Group. Young people must realize that certain everyday behavior do not belong in sports. In the building of the Surinamese Olympic Committee, SOC, a seminar was held on Wednesday about sexual harassment in sports. The SOC has organized a series of activities that deal with the topic sexual molest in sports. Organizations and athletes made their voices heard during these activities. That is why Kirti Algo held a presentation that show that a lot fewer women participate in sports compared to men. And Algo also discussed the various cases, including molestation. According to her, it is therefore important that there is a complaint board so that the problem can be addressed. With the results of the discussions held during the seminar, a code of conduct will formulate it specially intended for sports organizations. Thank you for joining us during this edition of your local news for today. Have a pleasant weekend and remember to be safe and always stay positive.